Hi everybody, welcome back. Here we are yet again. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody. My name is Megan O'Connor and I am a celebrity fashion stylist and long time friend of Liam Bryan's. Welcome back. I am so happy to have you all here with me for our Count It Week 3 episode of our very happy at home fashion happy hour. That's right guys, this is week three, episode three of our Create Your Lane fashion happy hour. I hope that you are all doing well today. Welcome, thank you for joining me. If you are just joining, my name is Megan O'Connor, I'm a celebrity fashion stylist and I've been doing this for three weeks since we've been in quarantine. So welcome back, I'm so happy to have you all here. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to hop on and join. I would love if you came on and told me your name, where you're logging on from. And you know what? Let's do something a little bit crazy today. I would love for you to also share with me what you're excited about today. So it could literally be anything from just finished your favorite show to making a great dinner, whatever it is. I would love for you to share that with me. Let's kind of get that positive energy out there. Let's share it with each other. Let's rejoice in some happiness and some positivity. It's a gloomy day here in New York. I'm logging on from New York. Um, but you know what? Let's have some sunshine in here today. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun talking fashion. We're going to do a little pop of color. There's some yellow here. I'm wearing some yellow. We're just bringing the sunshine. So as you log on, say hello, share with me your name, where you're logging on from, something you're really excited about today. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, today we are going to talk about how to keep your dressy holiday for at home, right? I mean, we're around the corner from Passover, Easter. We're all going to be celebrating lots of wonderful things, or we would have been celebrating lots of wonderful things, but you know what? It's still going to happen. So we might as well talk about how we can dress for those holidays and those special occasions at home. So I decided that this week we would focus on kind of keeping tradition and keeping those dressy items and keeping the focus there and finding some items that are versatile for your wardrobe. So stuff that you can wear that's going to keep you comfortable and keep you feeling your best and your most confident so that you can celebrate with your families in the safety and comfort of your homes. So hello everybody, thank you all for joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's get started. Okay, so our first look today for our sort of keeping your holiday dressy at home is a really easy look that you can incorporate into your wardrobe. It will work for now, it will work for later, it'll take you through the summer, it can be worn in fall, it's sort of, sort of a seasonless dress, and it's a really great piece to add into your wardrobe. So we're talking about this beautiful floral cotton jersey, super comfortable, lightweight, tie front dress. And it's available now, and so this is a new piece, it's a new arrival, it's really gorgeous. A couple of things I love about it. Number one, pockets. Show me some loves, give me some hearts if we are pocket fanatics. I know I am. Love anything with a pocket. You know, this is sort of kind of my go-to. You guys have seen me do it here too. Like I'm just a pocket person. So pockets, we have a really great tie front here. It's an elasticized waistband. So this dress is totally super stretchy, comfortable, lightweight, really easy to wear. Um, and then there's this beautiful like, I hope you guys could see it on the screen, but there's this beautiful navy blue base, which is really nice because what this does is sort of give you the opportunity to jump onto a floral trend without going full force. Because I know some people are apprehensive about going bright colors or doing like full on floral. This is a great opportunity to incorporate floral in something that's a little bit more understated, a little bit muted, and has this beautiful navy grounded background. So a great way to wear this. Obviously, lightweight, super comfortable, adjustable straps, elasticized waistband, tie front here. It's a maxi length, so it's super comfortable and easy. It gives you that ease of not having to worry about kind of tugging and hiking on certain things. So this is a great at-home holiday piece. But then it's so great to incorporate into your wardrobe as we head out into the world, hopefully again one day. Um, another thing is, you know, you may be feeling sassy and want to put this on for, you know, your walk or just run out and if you have to run to the store, maybe you want to dress up and maybe you want to accessorize this with your mask and your gloves. A great way to just kind of throw on a layer onto dresses like this is again, you guys have heard me talk about this multiple times, 
but a white denim jacket or just a blue denim jacket is the way to go for a super easy layer piece that's going to kind of make your dress not only appropriate with a layer so in case you want to like have that add-on option but it's also a great way to kind of make a dress a little bit more casual and more grounded i always say more grounded because i mean it's something that kind of brings you like this is more casual it's not super dressed up this is something i could just throw this layer on and out the door i go so when we're out of this kind of crazy chaos that we're in this is something you can wear to work this is something you can wear for cocktails or dinner with friends a great add-on piece so that was our navy blue floral dress super comfortable easy to wear great for the holiday at home and great for our future events that we're all going to have that we're going to be dying to dress up for once we get out of the house so that's what these kind of pieces today are really about we want to make sure that we're talking about pieces that of course cater to our happy at home safe at home environment that we're in right now but then we want to talk about pieces that if we're buying new or we're treating ourselves to something or if we're kind of reworking stuff that's in our closet, we want to make sure we're talking about pieces that we can rework and wear in the future when we kind of break out of this chaos and head back out into our normal everyday lives. And that's everything from work to, you know, dinner with friends to date night with your significant other to events and parties, all of these beautiful pieces that we can wear now and wear later. And that's really what these lives are about and that's what all these kind of versatile pieces that we've been talking about these last three weeks are for because we want to make sure that we're providing you with a little bit of fashion fun and a little bit of tips and tricks and advice that can help you take your pieces from now until post-covid land so our next look is one of my personal faves which is the jumpsuit i've talked about it before i am just a huge jumpsuit fan i find it super easy and comfortable to just wear one piece it's sort of that one and done sort of vibe so for the second look for your dressy holiday at home i wanted to incorporate a jumpsuit that you guys can kind of get an idea about how to style it a few different ways and there's so many good jumpsuits right now on lane bryant but this one was definitely a top pick for me so this is the jumpsuit for our second look for today's topic our happy little dressy holiday at home super beautiful gorgeous lightweight fabric again adjustable straps you know the deal with lane bryant they think of everything pockets on this one elasticized in the back so you really have some like good movement adjustable straps tie waist here and this is like a wide leg i don't know if you guys can see that you know i try my best in this space to show you what's going on but this is like a wide leg here so this jumpsuit is such an easy piece to wear. Number one, lightweight. Number two, gets you into a trend. Pastel stripes are really big for spring. Takes you right into summer. It's a great kind of wear everywhere piece. But this is especially great if you want to keep that tradition of dressing up for the holiday. This is something that we can do. Throw on this jumpsuit. You have ease of movement. Super easy to run around the house or make your meal and have this on and still feel great and look great and make it a special holiday and so of course we always talk about adding on a light layer right you want to build that look in multiple ways so for some some items we talk about accessories or great earrings but for some other items we always talk about kind of a light layer or a piece that you can incorporate into your wardrobe or maybe that you already have at home so for this one i wanted to incorporate the super cozy cute cropped knit so it's like this beautiful i hope you guys can see the colors what's going on here can we see okay um so this is just a really easy lightweight again this is like an open sort of light knit cropped cardi a great layer that you can throw right over this jumpsuit colors work beautifully together apart versatility this is what we're talking about you know this kind of sweater if you don't want to wear that white um denim jacket over that knit dress, that sweater is perfect. You know, if you go back to last week when we were talking about leggings, great sweater to throw over a beautiful blouse and head out for your walk. So it's these kind of versatile pieces that we always wanna focus on and I always kind of bring up for you guys because I think it's important to have these items in your wardrobe and it really makes it easy to get dressed when you have these great add-on pieces. So again, for our second look, we're talking about the striped lightweight linen, 
This is like a linen cotton blend. It's absolutely beautiful. Wide leg jumpsuit. And again, something really special about a jumpsuit because it's just this one and done piece. I don't know about you guys, but I love something that's going to be an easy grab and go concept. So of course, listen, I'm a stylist. I love getting dressed. I love putting together looks, but sometimes I don't want to think about it either. You're not the only one. Sometimes I just want to grab something off that rack, throw it on and look good. So that's where this jumpsuit comes in. It's a really great piece. It's super easy to wear. It can be mixed and matched with other items in your current wardrobe. And of course, we always talk about how we can take our create your lean, happy at home looks and incorporate it into our post COVID world. And that's another jumpsuit that would be perfect for spring, summer, summer, even into fall, throw on a jacket, mix and match with a pair of boots or sneakers. These items are all pieces that we can obviously take into our future life. Um, I know we have a couple of extra people logging on. Hi guys, if you're just joining us, just a quick reminder, my name is Megan O'Connor. I am a celebrity fashion stylist and longtime friend of Liam Bryan's. I'm super, super happy and grateful to be here with you guys on our third episode of our Happy at Home, Create Your Lean Fashion Happy Hour. Today, our topic is how to keep your dressy holiday looks for your at-home holiday celebrations. So we're talking about three looks that you can wear at home as we celebrate Passover and Easter and the future weeks to come. We're just only a couple of days away at this point. And how you can then take those looks and transfer them and incorporate them into your future wardrobes once we are released from this crazy COVID world. But until then, we want to talk about fashion at home, in the home, and how you can wear those great clothes that you have hanging up all day, every day. Just because our lives change doesn't mean that our closets and our fashion has to change with it. And so we just want to have some fun and talk about some looks that we can incorporate and feel great wearing. Who's with me? Are you all still there? Give me your hearts. Let's say hello. Um, okay. So we talked about the navy blue floral print jersey cotton maxi dress. Super stretchy, super comfy. Great piece. Such a no-brainer. Um, obviously layering that with a white denim or a blue denim jacket is a great way to kind of throw on that layer and have it together, put together as a look. Dresses can be worn with multiple different accessories and footwear. And of course you always kind of want to have that add on layer piece. Second look we talked about, one of my personal favorites is the striped pastel jumpsuit. Absolutely beautiful piece, really lightweight and easy to wear. So this kind of works for all of our Lane Bryant customers out there. Hot weather, cool weather. I'm here in New York, but this is something that I would wear for the Easter holiday. Throw on a little cardigan like this one that I was just talking about. And you kind of have a complete look that gives you the opportunity to be comfortable and casual, but also to feel great and look beautiful and keep that tradition. Because I think as we head into the next couple of weeks, we really want to make sure that as we get into this like new schedule and new life that we're living, I think it's important to keep certain traditions alive and to keep kind of certain aspects of our lives um, intact. And part of that for me personally is getting dressed, feeling good. You know, I always say when you look good, you feel good. And that's where this, you know, Instagram live create your lane fashion happy hour came from. And that's what we're trying to do here. So on to look three. This dress is so beautiful. And I know that some of you guys are going to be like Megan. Girl, I haven't gotten out of pajamas in days. I do not want to be talking about a, you know, faux wrap crepe yellow floral print dress. It's too fancy for me for at home. Well, for all of you who are saying that, but laughing in your heads because I called you out on it. I'm telling you right now, I promise you, put it on. Treat yourself. Put on that special occasion dress that you had for the holiday that's coming up and celebrate yourself and celebrate your health and your safety and celebrate your family and each other and look good doing it because truly sometimes all you need is a great dress and this is my friends a great dress so this is my third look option for the keep your dressy holiday at home topic that we're talking about today i'm going to bring it super close so you can see how gorgeous this print and color is i mean Come on, it's fully lined. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's tie back here so you can adjust here, but this is a nice, beautiful tie. The tie is attached at the front, so there's your faux wrap. Uh, this is a plunge here, but of course, it's modest enough. It's 
it is a faux wrap. You have some sleeves here, so you have moderate coverage. This is just so gorgeous. To me, personally, this dress screams springtime and happiness and renewal and Easter and all these beautiful moments that normally we'd all probably be getting super excited to celebrate. Some of us would be on vacation. Your children would have spring break, uh, Passover, Easter, all these things happening. But, you know, life happens and we've had to slow down. And I think that treating ourselves and putting on these beautiful looks and putting on these bright pieces or these new prints or fun new items is a really great way to kind of give yourself a pat on the back, essentially. I think we all deserve a little thumbs up. And so um, I thought incorporating a special piece like this into today's topic and just talking about maybe there are these special beautiful dresses that we want to pull out of the wardrobe and put on go do it. Like, hello, why not? So I wanted to throw this in here. I just think this is an absolute, absolutely beautiful piece for spring, for summer. And of course, listen, like I say all the time, bring it in to whatever is next. I mean, guys, I cannot say it enough. We are going to want to dress up and get out there once this is all over. And that's what this is all about. Kind of just incorporating new pieces and sharing with you my top picks and what we think is beautiful for certain things. But this dress is absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is yellow floral, super springtime, super happy piece. It has a really beautiful ruffle hem at the bottom, little ruffle hem detail. Again, I get it. I know some of you guys are like, I'm going to celebrate in pajamas. And that's okay. You know, that's why you have Kasik. That's why we wear our Kasik sleepwear and our loungewear or our Livy Active that we talked about last week. I get it. I completely get it. But... Some of us may want to dress up. Some of you guys are crazy like me and you want to put on a whole outfit and dance to music and have fun and, you know, cook your meal feeling fancy. Go for it. Now's the time. I think if we really focus in on those special moments and kind of highlight those days for ourselves, it makes a new memory for when we're out of the chaos. And so for me, taking three looks and sharing them with you so that you guys can keep that dressy tradition that like get dressed in your best for Passover, for Easter, for celebrating those special days to come. Even, you know, spring break or, you know, normally I think a lot of um, students and teachers would be going on spring break. You'd be buying new things for your vacations. Listen, if you have them or maybe you're going to treat yourself, put them on, get dressed up. Skype with your friends, hop on a FaceTime, you know, that's what all these looks are for. So I really, today, I really wanted to just kind of bring in a little sense of normalcy about how we definitely all had these dresses in mind or these looks in mind or these specialty items in mind. I'm sure a bunch of you probably brought looks for your children. Put them in the dress, put them in the suit, put them in the outfit, take pictures at home. You can still celebrate your holiday in the best way possible. We just have to do it safely at home in the comfort of our own environments so that we continue to do our best to save lives and get past the chaos. Am I right? Yes, I know I'm right. Um, all right, so those were our three looks. If you're still with me, thank you so much. If you're hopping on, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining. I'm gonna go over a couple of questions. Of course, you know, last week we did questions at the end and then I will log on and just kind of look and see at your comments and see if I can answer any extras. So let's see what we have. Oh, so the first question is, what is the trick to buying a jumpsuit? I like the idea of one, but I find them very intimidating. Great question, obviously super on topic because we were talking about this jumpsuit today. So the thing about jumpsuits for me is that they're very super versatile, right? So you can mix and match multiple items in your wardrobe, wear them different ways. They can be dressed up or dressed down. They go great with everything from a heel to a sneaker. We always talk about adding on layers, so cardigans, jackets. From A to Z, it kind of is a piece that works in your wardrobe multiple ways. I understand that it could be intimidating. It's kind of an adult onesie, essentially, which I get. But ultimately, the important part to focus on is fabric and fit and to really give yourself the opportunity to try them. So of course, we can but we just got an emergency alert on the phone. So I'm so sorry if that cut out. But I'm here. Don't worry. Um, so what I was saying was I was answering the question about jumpsuits and how they can be super versatile. Um, this person is a little bit apprehensive, so they like the idea of them, but they find them very intimidating. I agree with you. Um, they can be intimidating, 
but essentially you want to focus on fabric and fit and then beyond that I always say functionality so make sure you're gonna get a jumpsuit that's gonna work for you and how you kind of move throughout your day um, talking about fabric we talked about this one today super lightweight easy to wear um, so really light and airy kind of fabric so that's something that's going to move with you it's not going to be too form fitted to your body maybe you want something that's a little bit more structured then you're going to look for that kind of fabrication the other thing is for me um i always start with kind of a basic jumpsuit that's how i delve into the trend started with an easy color or a simple print or a simple silhouette and then sort of work your way up so maybe this jumpsuit is a little intimidating but a lena jumpsuit in a uh, navy blue is something that you want to start with so there's tons of different options the other trick is i always look to try jumpsuits in two sizes and i know it's difficult for some of you to sort of say oh i don't really know if why would i buy two sizes you know i think right now the point is you want to focus on finding things that work for you and since we can't try on in store sometimes it's best to just grab two and try which one works best. I never focus on the number on the garment. I always focus on how it feels and looks on my body. And that's for me personally, but it works because sometimes there's fabrics that I wanna size up in and sometimes there's fabrics that I need to size down in. So I say be easy with yourself, try different things. Don't be afraid to try different styles or different prints or different fabrics, um, but just make sure that you Focus on something with a great fit and a great fabric that's going to work for your personal style. Because when you do that, you won't get overwhelmed and it won't be intimidating for you. It'll be really easy to incorporate that trend right into your wardrobe. Um, let's see. Next question. Uh, can, you sh can we style a dress a few ways? Can you share how to style a dress a few ways? Like the office when we go back, date night and casual. Often I will buy a dress and not know how to wear it as a casual look, especially shoes to wear them with for casual look. Um, okay, great question. Also a really great example is something that we talked about today, which is with this navy blue printed jersey dress. So for example, a dress like this can be dressed up or down, worn multiple different ways. Like I always say, it's about versatility. So something like this can be worn at home during quarantine, right? In our self-isolation, wear this around the house, feel great, hang out with the kids, play a few games. Maybe you're hop hopping on a FaceTime and wanna look your best. Here we go. Of course, as we head into the holidays, another look option. You wanna dress it up, you throw on a Brian blazer, you throw on a pair of heels or a great summer sandal. You layer it up with a few pieces that are going to elevate the look. You want to dress it down, you throw it with a denim jacket and a pair of sneakers. So when you take dresses and you want to go either way on the, on the scale and you want to dress them up or dress them down, you really should think about layering pieces, footwear, and accessories. Those are the three things that I always say can change a look drastically in very small little ways. So adding a denim jacket, adding a moto jacket, adding a blazer. Um, adding a pump, adding a sneaker, adding a summer sandal, adding hoops, adding studs, all those little small tweaks really make a huge difference. Um, and I would say that, you know, don't forget that taking those casual dresses or even taking a dressy dress and having fun with it and playing with it, you know, maybe you want to throw on a casual tee over your gray maxi dress or you want to put a white button down collared blouse under you know a tank dress there's tons of different ways that you can be versatile and mix and match other pieces but it's just about thinking a little bit outside the box and always focusing on those three things so accessory footwear and layers let's see our third one what would be a versatile outfit that would be good for styling home oh for, excuse me what would be a versatile outfit that would be good for staying home for easter dinner but i could use for when i go back to work Okay, so obviously we talked about this today. Great question, thank you for that. Um, you can do a couple of different things. So like we said today, you can go casual or you can go super dressy. It's a bunch of different ways that you can incorporate the looks that we're talking about today and some of the looks that you probably already have at home into your wardrobe now and back to work. For me, it's always about fabrication and fit. For versatility, you wanna make sure that you have a fabric that for right now at home will move with you, will stretch with you, will feel great. That's where we're talking about these lightweight fabrics, this easy stretch 
Jersey Maxi. Um, that's this one that I was talking about. So we want to talk about fabric and think about fabric, how it feels now and then how you can elevate it when you go back to the office and when you have events is just, again, like we said, those light layers or those easy pieces that add a little bit of polish and kind of elevate your looks. But I would also say, don't be afraid to dress up at home for the holiday. You know, that's why I incorporated this dress today because some of us want to keep that sense of tradition. And for me, I know at least wear the family who dresses up for Easter Sunday. You know, we are the people who go to the dress to the nines and enjoy a beautiful meal out or a meal at home. And so that tradition is going to be tweaked this year. And I want to make sure that, you know, some of you feel encouraged to keep it the same way. So wear that dressy dress, you know, and of course, then this is the item that you can easily wear to the office once we return. Uh, next question, what prints are in style for spring? So kind of, um, oh, I'm just going to grab my iPad so I can see your comments too. Um, so kind of a loaded question because I could very easily quote um, <laughs> Devil Wears Prada and say, florals for spring groundbreaking uh but truly florals are always sort of in for spring and that's kind of where we came in here um where we came in here with the jersey maxi but there are tons of other print trends happening right now for spring and summer one of them is the pastel stripes which i talked about here with the jumpsuit um another one which is i covered the first week that we did the ig live is polka dots so polka dots are huge right now um Tropical prints are very big at the moment for spring and summer as well. And then, of course, another one that we're seeing a lot of that we saw on the runway and now are what you're seeing in stores, kind of being translated in stores, are pinstripes as well. So if you guys have been with me for the last three weeks, on week one, we talked about a Bryant blazer that was in a white black pinstripe. Huge trend for spring, summer. Polka dots, huge trend for spring, summer. Tropical prints, floral, pastel stripes. Um, sort of all those basics, but great question. And I could probably go on for like another hour, so I will not continue, but those are my call outs for now. Uh, next question. Uh, oh, this was a good one. I'm a fan of darker colors, black prefer preferably. I'm not so much a fan of pastel or spring colors. How can I look fresh and ready for spring without losing my love for dark colors? So I found this one really interesting because I think it resonates with a lot of us. I mean, myself included, I'm in color today because I wanted to bring a little sunshine, but I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of dark colors. Um, as a stylist, I often wear a lot of black for work. So my wardrobe consists of a good portion of black items that I mix and match all the time. Um, so I thought that this was really good and would resonate with a lot of you. Um, so I always say, Embrace what you love, uh, play into that. That's a comfort zone for you. And while I think that you should embrace that and celebrate that, it's okay to sort of push yourself outside the comfort zone and try something new. And so, for example, if you don't wanna to jump too deep into the, the, the trend pool, you can go with something like this dress and you know, still wear this floral and have a little bit of color, but because it's a dark navy base, it sort of keeps you grounded, right? So it's that black navy, those darker colors that are the undertone of the look, the underlying focal color of the look, and then incorporating those pops of colors on top of it. So having that print on top of that navy dress or having one of the kimonos that we talked about last week that's like a black base kimono with a print great way to incorporate trends and print and color for spring and not be overwhelmed with bright, 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 pastel, bright. So, I mean, I always say stick with your things that you love, but then also always try to push yourself a little bit, just a tiny little bit each time. And the more and more you do that, the more and more you explore different styles and different colors and different patterns you start to be a little bit more adventurous in your styles and your fashion choices and then they, before you know it you're gonna have a rack of clothes in your wardrobe that are pops of color and prints um so of course finding things that have a dark base polka dots pinstripes those kind of things are really easy to incorporate trend and spring um new spring styles into your wardrobe without being overwhelmed and, and inundated with 
bright bold colors and pastel prints and all of those things so let's see did I miss anybody those are all the questions right dark florals oh yeah gotcha so I'm gonna just scroll through quickly for a couple of seconds to see if I'm missing any questions or if I can answer anything thank you guys so much for being here you know I always take these last few seconds to just just say thank you. I, honestly, I'm so grateful to my Lane Bryant family for allowing me to do this and come into your homes and onto your screens. Every Friday, we do this every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you guys know, I come live from the comfort of my home in New York, where we are safe and healthy, stay at home. And you know what? It's a lot going on in the world right now. It's chaos and it's insanity and the news is exhausting. And so Liam Bryan and I just kind of teamed up and said, you know what, let's bring a little bit of fashion fun into everybody's lives once a week on an IG Live and talk about something other than the news and the virus and the chaos. And although I bring it up sometimes for the most part, I think we try to keep it as lighthearted as we possibly can over here. So thank you all so much for joining me. It means a lot. It allows me to kind of flex my fashion muscles and share my love of fashion and style with you all while we are actually kind of navigating this chaos. So it's super fun for me. I hope it's been fun for you. I know some of you have been logging on and following since week one. So thank you so much. I am so appreciative. Um, for those of you who are just joining today, thank you for joining. Thank you for sticking with me. Again, my name is Megan O'Connor. I'm a celebrity fashion stylist. I'm a longtime friend of Lane Bryant's, and I am coming to you live from the comfort of my home in New York. We do this every single Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a quick and happy, lighthearted fashion happy hour to help you create your lane, even though we are trying a new avenue each day. We are trying to navigate this chaos and this new time. And again, we just wanted to kind of bring you something that was fun and lighthearted and easy and brought you a little bit of joy amongst all of the wild insanity that's happening. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, I also want to take this opportunity. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. So many comments. I feel like this happened last week and really I'm so grateful for all of you and for your comments and for your logging in and it's so fun to see. Again, we sort of kind of keep things a little bit streamlined because I want to share as much fashion info and fashion fun that I can with you without getting sort of sidetracked with all the comments and the likes, but I am so incredibly grateful to all of you for all of these comments and likes and thumbs up. This is so much fun and so cool. I do want to remind you guys, of course, we had a couple of questions last time. Shop online at Lane Bryant. There's $49 every, it's a free shipping, excuse me, free shipping for $49 or more. You can use your real women dollars. I know a couple of you were asking that as well. And don't forget that all weekend long, it is buy two, get two free on apparel, accessories, sleepwear, and bras. So legitimately almost everything. So now is the time. Hop on there, treat yourself, give yourself something special. Um, you know, maybe you want to try one of the new items we talked about today. But just the point is, do something for you today. Do something for you. Do something for your family. The thing you are doing for others is staying at home and staying safe. So I want to use this quick opportunity to thank all of our service men and women, our medical professionals, every single person that is essential personnel that's out on the front lines. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. On behalf of myself and Liam Bryant, we thank you. We thank you for your service. We thank you for your work. We thank you for your kindness and your tenacity. This is a really crazy time in our lives. And it is because of all of you that we have the luxury and privilege of sitting at home and staying healthy and doing our part so that you can do your part. So thank you all. Thank you to each of you for joining every week. I am so, so grateful to you all. Thank you to my Lane Bryant family for allowing me to do this. I am so thrilled to share my love or fashion with each of you. So until next week, I hope you guys had fun. Thanks for joining. I will see you next Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, literally in this exact same spot. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and stay happy.